Live. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Live. From yeah. From my corner of Austin, where certain spiky haired fella enjoys a taco and a beer at a famous restaurant, it's going to be a great night. Now, press F to pay your respects to the four buttocked monkey, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! And swim, and swim, and swim, and drink a beer, and swim some more, and drink a beer, I'm still on drink and beer. swim some more, I'm still on drink make beer. to torpedo that beer, and have no fear that you're gonna drown, that's right, you're gonna die. I'm you're just on swimming you're now. Die cause you're drinking beer and swimming around. That's responsible. Let's make some money, you too. I'm on to the beer <laughs> thing again. Uh, <laughs> do you mean drinking beer? What? Do you mean drinking beer? He what said drink a beer. Oh. He said it like three times <laughs> in, in intervals and then swimming in between that. So... And then there was something about torpedoing it and having no fear that you're going to drown. Uh, no, I think I, I uh, well, I mean, who, uh, uh, nobody remembers. Uh, <laughs> the important thing is, uh, oh boy, can you drink beer and run fast? Mm, can I now? Can I now? Maybe. Uh, 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 that's only one story in our, in our menagerie. Yeah, well, okay. all right. Uh, this is a bit like um, uh, uh, Night Gallery or one of those Rod Serling exactly. uh, post Twilight Zone things. Like, imagine, if you will, a series of portraits, snapshots, one might say, instantly available. They're Instagrams of terror. Imagine, if you will, Instagrams. But the terror is delight, <laughs> and the Instagrams <laughs> are moments from Founders Day picnic. Hey! Uh, I, I guess uh, uh, we should at least uh, explain why I uh, uh, you're fast and you drink beer. Yeah. We ran a beer mile. We. Well, we set out to run a beer <laughs> there mile. There we go. <laughs> this guy gets it. Uh, it was me. Yep. You. Yep. Ali Spagnola, who's... Uh, this will eventually be a video for her channel. Yep. Uh, and Andrew Heaton. Yep. And we decided to go out to my... My neighborhood. Okay, first of all, the needling begins early. This is what you won't see in the eventual YouTube video. Sure. Is we're waiting for Andrew Heaton so that we could do this beer mile, which is you drink a beer, do a quarter mile, drink a beer, do a quarter mile, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Um, but then uh, uh, we get to the part where it's like, well, we're waiting for Heaton. Why don't we go get the beer? Yeah. So we hop in the car. We drive down to the gas station. Instantly get big time by Allie. So Allie, who's got abs in places that it's abnormal to have abs uh <laughs> she is extraordinarily fit she uh, uh focuses on her health and fitness like on on a constant basis but also she's recording us like for her channel yep so she's making fun of us for driving the like three blocks to Here, get to the here's gas the one station flaw in this version of the story cameras were not rolling Oh, they were. I was driving, so I I didn't know what this was. Not. Okay, so so yeah. Without cameras rolling, we hop in the car. We go down to the corner store. We get out of the car, and with this, uh, uh, she is kind. She is wonderful. But there was genuine. She's mild... got alpha shit. She's got alpha shit. Right. She's got alpha jock shit. She, uh, we pull up. It and happens. She, and, 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 and just almost under her breath, but loud enough on purpose so we could hear. We get the. Uh, you drove for this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was, we there was judgment. No, it was in a voice that I just assumed that she was recording on there her phone. There was no recorded. No. Okay. Nothing was okay. being recorded at that moment. Uh, uh, so she was trying to establish a tone. Oh, no, no, no. She, she was definitely uh, uh, letting us know who was boss. Yeah. Yeah. She was going to she was going to smoke. She was she, uh, she, she was the beer boss and, 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 and the, <laughs> she was the, the, the run boss. runner. Yeah. Well, and also, so we, then we go and pick out the beers. Yeah. And uh, strong Bri vote repeatedly for White Claw. And, uh, uh, I, I eventually barely made the cut. Brian. Brian was like, yeah, just all White Claws. And if we could do it all lime, even <laughs> that'd be better. great. Because I love lime white claw, yep. and I feel like this would be the best thing to do in the middle of the day on a Sunday after we've done nothing but, but socialize, but drink, and spend time in the sun for the last 48 mm. hours. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this is also back when I thought I had a chance to actually compete. 
uh, which I was disabused of very quickly, but we'll get to that. <laughs> uh, so we wind up settling on, I believe, Twisted X. Yep. The Gulf Kolsch uh, Blonde Ale. Uh, we went with the Lime White Claw. Uh, what was the third? McConaughey's. Oh, no, no, no. And, and there was a, one of the uh, Austin Beer Works, I think. Uh, uh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Their, their light beer. And then McConaughey's. Was the like, LOL, at some point, somebody has a drink of McConaughey's. And by the way, I guess at this point, we should explain what a beer mile is, Brian. Uh, I think I did, but it's you drink a beer, you go a quarter mile, you drink a beer, you go a quarter mile, you drink a beer, you go a quarter mile, and then you drink a beer, you go a quarter mile. Now Worth that's, mentioning that's again. Four <laughs> beers very quickly. That is four beers in as fast or as you can run case, a mile. Very slowly. <laughs> I was going to say, depends on that quarter mile. <laughs> but when you have super, like, aggro alley... Agro Spagnola, like <laughs> sitting, Agro next, Spagnola. sitting next to you, and she's like, like, oh, <laughs> oh, White Claw, I guess. <laughs> oh, these assholes drove to the three block away gas station. <laughs> like, look at Butterball and Fuckwit over here. Like, <laughs> so we get back home just in time to see Andrew Heaton. Like, well, hello, it's absolutely wonderful to see you guys. I can't wait to go for a brisk and jog in, and enjoy some because beverages. I know it's what you're thinking. Yes, he's dressed like goofy when he's working out <laughs> <laughs> yes yes he is he and had the has, headband did he have it's the headband? as great as the you would imagine headband. yeah he just, fucking... justin stole the headband bit uh, uh well yeah i don't know i work out in headband <laughs> i work out in headband. Yeah. get all that hair i got too. a lot of hair man yeah. yeah well so so once we start uh two things occur to me first of all i cannot chug a beer uh i have lost that ability i am comfortable with this it's probably healthier in the long run anyway but uh, very that, that, that's not how it starts. We all wind up chugging at about the same speed at the beginning. Uh, no, no. We all were grouped together running when we started. You three split. I poured out two thirds of my beer. <laughs> the first one, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the first one you did, yes. I knew that you were lagging behind on the, on on the other ones, but I thought I saw I, I thought I saw you with our little uh, uh, so, group initially. Uh, uh, yeah, correct. I was lagging behind. Uh, I, 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 and, but the important thing is, I instantly realized, oh, I cannot compete on the beer chugging, and then I realized I also can no longer <laughs> compete on the running, and so I realized, you know what? This is not an actual competition. This is a YouTube video about a competition, which yes. means we have two people actually competing. We have Ali Spagnola and Justin Robert Young, and then we have the dipshit league of Brian Brushwood and Andrew Heaton. And I realized Andrew Heaton is actually competing. And I realized that, oh, my role is to be the dipshit of dipshits. And so <laughs> I'm doing shtick and all that stuff. And so I-, I So, I, so I, you are, the way that everything's set up is that there is one stationary camera uh, in front of uh, my house. And everybody else has to hold their phone up and, like assholes uh, while they're running. Well, no, no, because we're getting the supplemental. So it's all the, like, burping and uh, uh, talking shit and stuff like that. So everybody's doing that as, like, the, the B-roll that they'll cut to. But the one static shot is where Brian is, which I didn't know you were doing your Showtime at the Apollo fucking tight five <laughs> while the rest of us were running. I mean, either that or I get cut from the video. <laughs> like, I gotta contribute something. And, uh, and so, Brian was never seen again. Th there was one moment where both uh, Andrew and I were, were synced up together, and he was taking a moment to sit down uh, in, in, in his chair. And, uh, and, and so we're both like, huh. Ah, Huh, holding the cameras up on ourselves, huh, huh. and then he says, "Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I'm gonna win. I'm, I, I set out to do this, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna come in last." And then, and so me to my own camera say, "You know what? I feel like overly harsh competition is the sign of a brittle mind. You should be fluid <laughs> and understand that the world isn't what you want it to be." And then so, he, and so it becomes a bit of competing monologues. Uh, and I just remember at one point saying, "You know which was the best of the Rockies." The first one, the one that won an Academy Award, the one in which he lost. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was a good time. I, uh, I, I don't remember who won. Well, I think we all won. All I remember is this, is that there's a moment on the last of the, uh, uh, the four quarter miles, I hear behind me a very confident Ali Spagnola say, now it's time to turn on the Jets. And if she doesn't keep this in the video, she's a coward. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll leave it to your imagination exactly how bright those jets burned. 
uh, uh, by the end. <laughs> by the end. I'm just uh, saying. I, I'll tell you, the real show was not captured on camera, and that was when I lured everybody to the Chinese buffet afterwards. Uh, that was amazing. No, here's here's what happens. All right, here, here's here's the reality of a beer mile. Number one, you drink four beers in what, for my case, was. 14 minutes. Oh, God. Fucking uh, Jesus Christ. Gross. Uh, and then Gross. you go <laughs> back on? to hang out Cover that with up. your friends, and you're euphoric because you've just drank a lot of alcohol in a very short amount of time. Or and, you're and euphoric you have... because you have a, a, a strong sense of self, and you understand that you have value no matter how fast or <laughs> slow you ran. But regardless, but I also, agree. You're everybody believes great. you did the same thing that we did. We didn't know that you were, that you were, you were, you were a false flag. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we're all hanging around. We're bullshitting. We're having a great conversation. We're smoking cigars. Like, this is like a great hang. Uh, and, so, and, so, and so we have a beer while we're hanging out. And then the conversation goes so well that I have another beer. And then they leave to go to the Chinese buffet. And I say, you want to know what? I'll have one more beer. That'll be it for tonight. From everything. Decompress from everything. It's been a long weekend. And it's at that moment I realized I drank seven beers in an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. And I am now fucking trash. <laughs> like, I am wrecked. Uh, yeah. We also peer pressured Allie into having a cigar. Like we like yeah. we like whipping out cell phones, pulling out FDA studies on how it's fine. <laughs> it, it's it was fine. It was, it's fine. Yeah. Uh but that was all after the big day. Uh we did Founders Day picnic on yep. Saturday. Yep. Um uh, we did a big meetup on Friday night, which which uh, turned out to be the biggest uh, uh, event in Fang and Feather history. Uh, well, I mean, outside of their own event where they get 500 people. But yeah, uh, uh, but a, yeah for, a, for a very a, big a, Friday night. Yeah, for a Friday night. Yeah. yeah, it was great. And and everybody it was so cool to to meet everybody, to put faces to names that I immediately forgot. It was uh, uh, wonderful. Everybody was so generous, so giving, so excited. To Were be you there. expecting that many people? I I think I warned Richard that there would be I don't know fifty to hundred, but I think we 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 probably peaked at over a hundred at yeah. Fang and Feather. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think that, oh, that Brett, go ahead. My favorite part of that was just before it began. Oh I shit, was, we might actually have some raw numbers here. There we go. <laughs> I was sitting I was sitting uh, with uh, Roy, uh, uh, the founder of of the Wizard Academy. Yes, and uh, as we were talking, I saw. People start to arrive, and I was like, "Roy, I'm about to be more famous than you." <laughs> and he was like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, "Just watch." <laughs> and sure enough, so people and I go, "Just watch." And people are, "Hey, I know that voice." Oh, yeah. oh by the way, <laughs> that's the mark of a pro uh, voice actor is just just watch. Yeah. Just watch. It's like, How do you like, work this crazy giant robot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you Brett? Weed? Live from a corner <laughs> of my table. It's about to be a famous guy. <laughs> <laughs> and and Roy's like, very impressive. I go, it's all going to go away about 10 minutes after I walk out of here. So yeah. No, it was a great, it was, it was, forgive me, a great night. I mean, uh, uh, so much love and affection and people coming in from all over the world. We had people from as far away is uh, Australia, which I don't think you can get much farther away than that. Uh, nope. It was awesome. Uh, 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 we, we do have, we have uh, uh, Rex making his way in. Rex, to... can we hand you a mic? Yeah, well, yeah, no, no, just, 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 yeah, just, just, okay. just real quick. Right. Yeah, if we, can, if we can get you a mic. Uh, 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 if there's any uh, decompression on uh, what the difference between our meetup was compared to an average Friday night at the Fang and Feather. Yeah, about the same. Uh, so I'm I'm trying to convince Brian. Maybe do this like monthly. <laughs> <laughs> it was so great. We it, had an amazing it was a good night for everyone. Loved it. Obviously, it's good to be busy, but the community was free. I texted you immediately afterwards. Like, dude, you people are great. Had so much fun. Enjoyed it. I mean, they recognize they recognize me a bit, but they were obviously there for you guys having so much fun. Uh, yeah. it, it, so it was, it maybe was, I think like the yearly thing that's really not going to quarterly cut quarter quarter yeah. quarterly, yeah, quarterly yeah, yeah, yeah. meetings where yeah. we all yeah, yeah. Uh, update the spreadsheets and share field yeah. notes. I, I'm I'm open to like affiliate relationships. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's awesome. Thank you guys, uh, dude. Yeah. No, thank you very much for having us, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Rex Williams. Yeah. Williams. Uh, the tribe. Then the big day. Oh, and I guess uh, while we're on the subject of Ali Spagnola, part of the reason I'm drinking a Guinness draft right now is Dr. because, G uh, in the you building. know, 
in that spiral of hurricane energy leading up to the big day, just, you know, Allie is like, hey, so anyway, you want to break a Guinness World Record? <laughs> okay, you keep doing this like, oh, no, I, I, I flew Allie Spagnola out, and she wanted to record nine videos <laughs> as if she doesn't record 12 <laughs> videos normally in that period of time. You knew you were inviting a crack dealer here, and you smoked some crack. <laughs> I mean, it was really good crack. Uh, can we take a look at the final product? Uh, well, we ended up uh, uh, setting a Guinness World Record uh, to be verified here shortly. That uh, is the uh, world record for the largest uh, cotton candy sculpture of a, a big old bunny. And uh, uh, what we didn't realize, you know, there's a lot of rules and regulations. They take the stuff very, very seriously. And there's this moment where it says all cotton candy has to be prepared food safe and must be all distributed. And uh, yeah. that made it like, oh, crap. We all need to. It turned out that it, to be a very good thing that we completed it about 16 hours before the event. Because that's the thing is you have to definitely make it food and yep. not like skimp out on it. But also they don't want to be the thing where people waste food. Yes. So they're like everybody has to give the you have to distribute it. And uh, I'll tell you what, your youngest daughter uh, uh, was very excited to be the initial. Uh, 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 <laughs> consumer, but, but before we take a look at this, so uh, Callie shows up uh, just as we're Father. bringing everything. Which, by the way, I heard it for the first time. Oh, you heard her say I it? I heard it. Yeah, <laughs> she walks up and she's like, "Father, I, my hands are sticky." <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit, and now it's not a bit. <laughs> so, uh, so she goes, "Father." May I have, may I have the first of the cotton candies? And I was like, daughter, yes, you may. Uh, what part would you like? There are ears and limbs and tails and body. And she says, father, I would like to begin by eating the bunny's heart. <laughs> <laughs> so so ev everybody gathers around. I, I, I don't know if there's audio to this or not. That, just grab some. <laughs> she reaches in like it's Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Here we go. Kalima. Get the heart. But she goes in there. It is. No, it is, it is Kalima Shakti Day. Like, Kalima. She pulls it out. Everybody's cheering. <laughs> and then she eats it right in front of yeah. everyone. What an amazing start to the day. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so uh, uh, got wh wired. Uh, Brett, what 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 time did you roll in with with your dad? Uh, we rolled in about uh, th uh, two thirty three o'clock. So we got to uh, we didn't get to partake to partake in the in, in the, the cotton candy the bunny. sugary the sugary goodness. By the way, how many pounds? Uh, thirty seven. Thirty seven pounds of cotton candy. A, a single damn, a, a single candy. full serving is one ounce. Oh, so that's a lot of ounces. Sugar. I mean, how long were you guys right. building that shit? Yeah, it's six, eight hours. It was quite oh. a bit. Yeah, 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 it was like, and only half of that was actually putting it together. There, like the other half was like getting ready and getting just stuff. spinning up cotton candy, right? Get like getting materials and getting the space ready, and and also figuring out how to properly measure that stuff. We had we had to build. And, a base and by the way, it. apparently, according to the ice cream social guys, things were were going slow enough that uh, uh, the two Vegas showmen who. No, not a show that can go on a second late or end anywhere more than 90 minutes from the beginning. <laughs> right. We're just like, okay, fine. We're working now. And like, and like <laughs> just plugged in machines and put on gloves. And they're like, we just have to do it. Like I, this, this thing I can't has to watch happen. this. <laughs> I can't be around while you guys are not getting this done as fast as possible. Uh, so we kicked that off. And then we, uh, the first part of the day was uh, all picnic. A lot of uh, stations where you got to experience some of the stuff that's been on Mono Rogue, where you got to go on a self-guided tour and actually see various places where stuff was shot and, and play with various props uh, that, 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 we're in there. Um, uh, that was all delightful. And then we moved over to the performance area. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, I, I don't know, what, what were some of the standout memories for, for you? The entire day is kind of a blur, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, just the fact that we've been to a lot of cons. We've never been to a con where everybody's knows everything, right? Where everybody's in on every joke and, and everything like like the, the the Diamond Club, it just it, it has not been said yet. It needs to be said now and a million times that you guys are the absolute best. It was it was a a, a balm on my soul that I didn't know I needed to see everybody 
all at once for this, and and it is a, a I mean, tribute been, to Brian that you put this together. Two years since we've had any kind of event where anything like this was possible. Oh my God! Yeah, and 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 that's the thing is like, it it speaks to some of the soft trauma of everything that happened. That like we were plan this was planning to be a ramp up two years ago. Right. Like we were, we wanted to take flight. We were all there. We had like our, our tickets and, and we were ready to go. And, and then we sat on the tarmac for two fucking years. <laughs> uh, and, and now we were finally airborne and it felt uh, uh, amazing, but ICS was great. Uh, I'll tell you the bucket show, Matt and Mattingly did a, a, for folks who are not in the comedy world, there are a few things for which are death for comedy. Daylight and Wind. outside, and no like, audience feedback because they're too far away. Yeah, I mean, uh, 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 but but yeah, th those things kill comedy in general, right? Like they're just people don't want to laugh when it's daylight outside. They don't want to laugh outside. Uh, uh, it, it's it's just that, that's what it is. They fucking crushed. It was one of the most impressive improv things I had ever seen in my entire life, and I largely hate improv. <laughs> it's a bit ironic a big a big uh uh thank you to the diamond club that was there uh honestly coming in uh i mean my 83 year old uh prison minister father uh doesn't understand the game he thought the thing was going to be a play to be honest huh? and uh he's like oh the boy does the acting yes that's exactly well, what's this play about yeah what's this and i'm like i can't and so uh, I, I was nervous. I was very honest with him saying, Dad, he doesn't understand how these things work. And, I, and everyone was so nice to him. Uh, it was really, I was, I was so grateful. Because really, you guys could have shit on him, and there was nothing that I could do about it. I mean, well, and, and, and your, your affection for your father was, was so readily apparent, never more so than when we were hanging out in, in the kitchen area and Annalisa comes in and says, uh, Brett, your dad is just sitting outside. Would you like to let him in where the air conditioning is? And Brett, without missing a beat, says, no. Pulls out his phone. He knows what he did. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise the hell out of Annalisa. <laughs> uh, a lot of dads, by the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, Donnelly's dad was there. Your dad was there. Yeah. Like, like there was, there was, there, it was, it was a family affair. Uh, I, I do. Uh, one side benefit of having your, your parents be super fans is that they become familiar with everybody in your orbit. Uh, mom and dad planted their asses in the very front row in the VIP seats and got a private concert mm -hmm. from everyone up to it, including a full show from the Jomo and the Possum Posse. Mm -hmm. they, they were clearly having a great time. And by the way, Jomo and the Possum Posse came in on fire with a vengeance and with with a chip on their shoulder and something to prove because they swooped in from Houston where they had performed that very morning. And Jomo. Wait, wait, was hold on, lit. hold on, hold on. You know where they performed? In Houston. That's what I said. No. Oh, where? The Margaritaville Convention Center. <laughs> in Conroe. Not only did they play, they played in the Houston area, but they played at a Margaritaville that is so big that it has its own convention center. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's not a naming rights thing? It's not like the Margaritaville uh, Staples Center. No! Or, or, or like, like, like franchise opportunities. Exactly. Or whatever. Uh, 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 that kind of shit is, is looking for your shaker of salt, my friend. Uh, <laughs> this was, uh, uh, yeah, so they went and played the Margaritaville. And so that's like, it's funny that, that you mentioned the Houston thing, because that's what happened. I kept, kept saying like, oh, did you guys come up from Houston? And then fucking Joe Mower would just be like, Margaritaville. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so no, they came screaming in. Uh, we're able to set up right before we did Great Night. It, it, the, the 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 timing couldn't got better. It, tr uh, it the, truly the, uh, was this epic vista as yeah. the sun set behind yeah. them and the lights came on and they just they just melted faces harder and harder. It was a massacre. We were calling for the cops. Nobody would come. It was awful. So <laughs> weird, weird used car lot behind there that was uh, in the picture. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, no, that was, that was our parking overflow. It was just right behind it, so it looked like a car commercial. <laughs> <laughs> or, or as Justin put it, a Kmart Red Rocks. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I I hope the local neighborhoods enjoyed the music. I hope they tolerated our entire set that was fuck, fuck, fuck. Butts, shit, boom, <laughs> buttholes.
And that's just Mike TV's song. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, any other thoughts? Wait, uh, anything else? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I think I had notes. I had notes. I had notes. Okay. World record dads. Oh, uh, and, and Mike TV's dog is adorable. Oh, God damn it. Uh, uh was, yeah, was by the star, way, uh, sorry, Mike TV, born... you're not, you're not, bo- you're not banned, but your dog is because we brought our puppy and everyone was just like, oh, Pip. <laughs> and then, uh, meanwhile, his dog is, is, is. Little Moppet. Dryer lint mop with a tongue sticking out. Yes, yeah, pretty it's, much. Uh, and, pretty and, much. And, and in a little space capsule on a backpack. Yeah. It's, Who, uh, by the way, and, and Isabella, uh, Mike's girlfriend, is is uh, just this uh, literal Italian fashionista, and she's in this, like, adorable little pink outfit with matching glasses, and she has this... This tiny little mogwai of a of, of of a dog that everybody's just cooing over and everything, and like then she has to come in. I come in here to get a, a like a, a drink of water and and just some some fresh air, not outside. And I just see her feeding the dog the smallest crumbles of ground beef. Oh my goodness! Like <laughs> like like, like on, had, on it was wet court. food. Was it? Oh, uh, was it? It was a dog. Yeah, it was a yeah, dog she, wet food. She, she but it was so small that it just like she's like, it's the only way she will eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gets more adorable the closer you get to it. So there we go. Little yeah, anyway, star uh, born. Pip's a piece of garbage. Oh, <laughs> get a cuter dog. Brushwood. Oh, that's fine. Peels out. <laughs> I'm 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 okay with it. Uh. uh Meanwhile, uh, uh, Corey and, and the whole gang, Annalisa, everybody, they, they, they tagged all of the spots in the back nine, uh, seven acres or the back five acres of the seven uh, of like, this is where we shot the so-and-so or whatever. Uh, it, was, it was just fantastic beyond words, and uh, I, I, I can't describe it. I, I, I certainly can't make it funny, which is why nobody is laughing. You're right. Yeah. But you can feel good about yourself in the same way that Brian's glow is illuminating this entire room if you head on over to patreon.com slash great night. Friends, if you are a patron of Great Night, yeah. you can get up to five bonus exclusive episodes per a week. month. A month. Per, per, a month. It's, it a up. month. Let's not uh, fuck that up. I don't know. We I mean, literally I mean, can't I, fuck that sources up. Sources differ. One thing that we some can't say a week. Up. Some say a no, month. No. I don't know who to trust, to I be honest. Trust me, because <laughs> I'm saying... Bryce well, let's not get too up. hasty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Bryce, are you doing the Bryce cast uh, uh, for, for uh, three days a week? No. I'm done. You're not? No. Bryce cast? Oh. No. Oh. Maybe one week we can do a Bryce cast for three days a week. <laughs> no, and... is that... <laughs> Are you pitching him on working like uh, two and a half times harder than he already works? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, that tracks. Yeah. I'm going to respectfully decline. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Well, right. then maybe we should not correct me when I say yeah. that so, it's five a month. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to do a little maybe impression should, here. Yeah. My <laughs> arm's going to flap out and I'm going to say, stop. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that joke costs. Cost you cost me three hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, head over there, uh, <laughs> patreoncom slash great night. And by the uh, way, by the last one had ICS. It was it was it was a sneaky it was good. ICS. Yeah, they came uh, straight from the airport. Episode. Yeah. yeah. Our bonuses have been very good. They exactly. continue to be good. Uh, mm-hmm. We we definitely had one of the... Uh, oh, yeah, because, by the way, nobody had a plan to pick up ICS from the airport. <laughs> and Donnelly texts me, and it's just like, uh, hey, who's picking us up from the airport? And I'm like, well, this is definitely not my job, but I'm actually heading into HQ, so I'll go pick you up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe some of us had that in mind the whole time. Oh. But they well, then didn't. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 no, I, I I just figured they would do for her. I didn't think it was a big deal. Uh, hey, Bryce, we got a game! We do have a game. This is a new game that I'm debuting today called... Uh, no, that's the Judge Judy theme. Uh, this is a new game called What Is It? <laughs> Sponsored by Science. Sponsored Wait, can we science. play the Judge Judy theme? Yeah. What Is It? Sponsored by Science. Let's pump that theme though. Pump that theme. Yeah, I like it. That's good. What is it? Yeah. Is that the disco? Or... Yes. Okay. Judge Judy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, she's a judge. Is Judy? Wait, she plays the disco version of Beethoven's Fifth. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's Wh- a freak. Why? Because it's that's cool. a song about death coming for you. 
Yeah, but and like Judge in Judy. a freaky way. With strings and a disco beat. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm in. You know, the French call uh, orgasms the little death. Yeah. Petite that's man. because they're already Lord. dead inside and they just want a little bit more of it. Yeah. Probably all the cheese. And uh, and the adultery. And the adultery. <laughs> isn't isn't that the adultery. Le Petit Merde? Is that what it is? No. That's more. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> the little horse? That was e for my wife. EK e <laughs> couldn't help but bark laughter at her husband's <laughs> attempt. That was pretty good. Uh, all right. Uh, walk us through this game. It's a very simple game. I've got the rules here for you how to play. Uh, you're going to be attempting to identify or define a thing in the closest as determined by science. Oh, my God. It's this is great. I'm ready. This is, this is a game I like to call... Bryce did a lot this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But also, this is a format we could use. Okay. It is a good format. It's a good format. All right, round Plastic one. Plastic format. Strong uh, do format. Do you mind uh, taking, uh, keeping score, Brett? On, on, I'm on it. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, round one. So uh, we're going to start with you, Brian, on this one. What is it? That. Green. Can you describe it first before you guess what it is? It's humanoid. <laughs> the, the thing she's wearing. Oh, <laughs> so it is a human. Uh, it's it's a woman wearing uh, what looks to be. Um, imagine imagine your uh, local minister. Uh, only you chop off the scarf around his neck at the boob level and you thicken it uh, like a baguette. And at the bottom of it is a couple of what looks like snaps that uh, that you would normally associate with studded leather. I believe. Ah! <laughs> That's what you'd associate it with? I said you would associate it with. <laughs> uh, I do know. <laughs> I believe this is a back of the neck warmer. Brian's going to say a back of the neck warmer. All yeah. right. Justin, what do you think? Fool. Fool brushwood. So close. And yet, so far. Go on. Because indeed, what we are seeing behind us. <laughs> Is a back of the neck cooler? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he really got your ass on that one. <laughs> Boy, Bryce, what does science say? All right, well, uh, let's find out what it is first. <laughs> this is bump. The bone. You can't read it oh, because it's, it's, <laughs> it's the bone phone. The a, bone phone. This a is a new concept in. You can look in front of you at times. Uh, oh, okay. A new concept technology, technology that may re revolutionize the way we listen to stereo music. Oh my God! There's speakers. They are, it is a bone induction speaker from. Bone, 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 no, no, bone, I, I, I bone thought phone, phone induction. Tell me how was, you was gonna like a... listen when you're sitting in possibly workout clothing <laughs> with Daryl <laughs> Hannah hair. You need to listen there. <laughs> I was done. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's it's an early it was an early bone induction. Uh, it was about the same time as the Walkman, but the Walkman obviously took off. The bone uh, phone did not. Yeah, the bone I, phone fucked off. It did fuck off. Uh, yeah. The uh, the, the bone induction fuck. I I didn't think really hit until like the end of the nineties or something. Uh, yeah, but I guess I'm wrong. This this I mean this was not a breakthrough hit. They like, sold a couple thousand of them. Probably because they named it the Bone Phone. <laughs> it's called the fucking Bone yeah, Phone, dude. They put dude. a sexy girl on there. Oh. Uh, uh, they, they originally called it She's the your... Fuck Phone, and then yep. they. She also looks not super pleased to have it. She's like, not... like, like, like it looks because the biggest fear you would have is that it's too heavy, right? Or it's like it's unpleasant to to have on you for a while that you would want to listen to music. And she definitely looks like she's laboring. Beautifully through it, <laughs> like, like like she is. She is not pleased uh, to have it on her neck. Do you see the sadness in her smile? Like when you look, <laughs> it is. Her? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, she's casting her eyes downward she's, in a way that like, is like she's thinking about like fifty bucks sounded like a lot. Why the fuck <laughs> did I buy this bone phone though? It's like. I'm glad it's they bone changed bone. the name from Bang Wagon. I, <laughs> I can't wait till they invent Amazon so I can give this bullshit one star. <laughs> All right. All right. Science has come back and told us that <laughs> Beverly D'Angelo's sad cousin. <laughs> what a deep cut. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jiminy. Uh, that's going to be a point for Brian because the single surely make your neck warmer, not cool. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Wait. I said 
Warmer. You said warmer. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I can give Justin the point if you'd like. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. I was thinking that music is pretty cool, but I, I banished that thought the moment you gave me the point. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get around to here. I'm going to maybe turn these emotes off for just a minute while we do <laughs> <laughs> this is my This is my favorite of all the trolls is fucking up our ability to see it. All right. All right. Round two. Bro Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. What is a shingle fro? What is a shingle fro? S H I N G L E F R O E. What is a shingle fro? Are these like all products? Mm. They're not. They, they could be other things. Like, could they be a you medical buy condition? This. You could like, buy this. You can buy this. Yeah. You can buy it. You can I buy mean, this. you could also buy. Uh, uh, a medical condition. Well, worms <laughs> like that in capsule form. <laughs> tape I could give myself a oh, tapeworm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Maybe mm. that's what it is. Could I give myself? Can I buy shingles? Uh, the disease. You know what? You could buy the shingles, but you can't. But you only need the edge. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, I had nothing. God damn it. <laughs> All right, Justin. Shingle fro. What do you? What is the word? When anything. All right. So so just so everybody knows, fro is spelled F R O E. Yep. Shingle is is the you know spelled like a shit you'd find on a roof for your diseased body. That's um, right. Mm -hmm. Shit, uh, uh, Alex. I'll take shit you would find on a roof or your diseased body for six hundred. <laughs> Shingle. Fuck, what is shingle? <laughs> I'm sorry, we have to take your first answer. Uh, all right, Stop saying fuck! That's a very cross <laughs> mayambiolic to me. <laughs> I like uh, how distinctive the do, voice is. Do you think you could get away? <laughs> do you think you could get away with playing Jeopardy and just give all your answers as shingle? <laughs> Bro? Still counts. There, there was definitely one time I saw a guy who forgot to phrase it as a question and and and, and he he says so it, he, he says blank and then uh he goes and there's this awkward pause and he realized he didn't phrase it yeah. as a question and he goes is it blank? <laughs> <laughs> and they gave him the point because technically yeah. that was the form of a Oh, question. yeah, because everybody just does what is, yeah. but that's not <laughs> but the... But is it, yeah. Yeah, no, you, you can... Wow, somebody should spice that shit up. Yeah. Someone uh, should be like... This time you have to... You have to you have, you be have to it do it. Uh, a name? <laughs> be it shingle? Uh, this <laughs> this round you have to do an impression of uh, 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 old blue eyes. Uh... uh, uh <laughs> Is it shingle doll? <laughs> Ring a ding ding. <laughs> the summer wind? <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. All right. Ready? All right what, Justin, what's a shingle what's fro? What's a shingle fro? Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't improv your way out of it. This is our attempt to like run like, out the clock like on the, the show. I like the improv so much fucking better <laughs> than this shit. A shingle fro is a... Grout device that mm. has thin lines as opposed to the thick ones that you normally have in other grout devices. A classic grout device. It's aerodynamic. It charges in a regular port. <laughs> and a re regular port. Wait, wait, sorry, I'm a little rusty. Well, normally you have to go get a port installed. Yes. The government gets involved. Yeah. It's Ralph Nader's there. <laughs> but here but it's a, a regular, regular port. port. Any port in a storm is their slogan. <laughs> okay. Or the shingle fort. So it's a brand name. Uh Shingle Fort Bro. <laughs> shingle Fro. <laughs> shingle Fro is I mean, like, it, it, it isn't a brand name, but it, it, it's like when uh, Midwesterners call all soda Coke. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, I believe this is a Scandinavian dish that, in, uh, that involves uh, ch uh, chipped beef and, and, and a creamy sauce on, on um, uh, in the South, they call it shit on a shingle. But this is the original. It came from Scandinavia. What I, would be the, the I mean, because a shingle fro, obviously... An Americanized yeah, version, yeah, yeah. like oh, no, like, in in the traditionally, original, yeah, yeah, how, how is it pronounced? No, no, it, 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 it would be um, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, there, they had a bra, uh, uh, unshield, yeah, for steaky, considering I did, um, yo quiero shingle, bro. 
I fucking li- I closed my eyes. I felt like I was there. <laughs> With the I, felt, I, I felt like I was at the shittiest restaurant in Reykjavik. <laughs> Captain Tuckeria's Viking stash <laughs> in Shingle Emporium. <laughs> you're selling what? I don't even know what. I don't even want to know what type of shingles you're Fucking selling. Fucking this is your game, man. Yeah. Let's just go. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Okay. Your answers were <laughs> Justin said a grout device that has thin, thin lines. lines. Thin. Is thin aerodynamic thin. and has regular, a regular port. port. A regular port. <laughs> Brian said it is a Scandinavian dish with chipped beef and a creamy sauce. That's right. What we were looking for was the shingle fro is. It's a woodworking tool used to split <gasps> shingles from other types of lumber while building the earliest homes in America. Oh shit! Look at those lines, baby. <laughs> they look, they, I, mean, I don't know about you, but I'm starving, and that thin was great. Thin as fuck. Thin line. <laughs> I'm gonna have Kate to... Moss. Thin <laughs> line. <laughs> To send this into science. The <laughs> last bit of the eight ball. Thin <laughs> line. <laughs> Thin lines. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> all right, that's a Justin poll. Yeah. Hey. Point for Justin on that. Yeah. Did have something to do with shingles. It did have something to do with shingles. It turned out. Uh, also, I love the fact. Uh, oh no, no, no. I, I guess. Yeah, no. This is the question. Is what is it? And then this is what it is. I just thought it was kind of like urban, like what it is. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. How would, that, how would the rest of that sentence go? Uh, uh, well, I mean, that's the whole sentence. What it is. What it is. And then somebody says, uh, 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 Hi, sir. Uh, I'm here to prepare your taxes. <laughs> yeah. And then you say, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I say, uh, uh, well, I mean, uh, are, are you a 1099 or, or do you have some W-2s for me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two very different branches of taxes, sir. I mean, uh, you're yes, here on an H&R block. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, just, I, just, uh, I just need some documents. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> oh, no, you can't be saying that, my mans. <laughs> All right. That is a Justin point. Let's go to the next round. What is it? <laughs> what is this? Um, we're going to start with you, Brian, on this one. What is it? Uh, first of all, they look like... Um, uh, 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 they, uh, okay. Um, picture, it's made of silicone. Yeah. It comes in six uh, uh, jubilant colors. Yeah. Uh, they, they have little uh, stars upon theirs. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Picture, picture, uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, do you remember, did you ever, did you ever get one of those little silicone tubes that, that went over a pencil so you could hold a pencil sure. more yeah, comfortably? Sure, yeah, 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 one of those, yeah. P- picture that, but for some reason, it's got like a, a second flap that maybe, now picture a bird flapping its wings way on up, and then it touches its wings together, and then they fuse together. Can I, can I, can I try? Yeah, yeah. Pocket pussies for bronies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are tiny. You don't know how big they are. Objects may be bigger than they appear. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say these. Uh, well, okay. Why Why would there be the flap on? I want to say these are eraser. Oh, that, that's for, I mean, number one, aerodynamics. And number two, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, decoration. Uh, like uh, why, de- is, fashion? <laughs> why uh, is fashion? Why is fashion? You know, I'm, you I'm, just want to lock it in, Daniel. I think these are uh, uh, pencil holders that that you hold in your hand when you're writing with your pencil. All right, pencil holders that you hold in your hand while you write with a pencil. Yeah, yeah make sure the whole thing goes into the science <laughs> uh, machine. Otherwise, it's going to be messed up. Gotcha. Yeah, you while holding in your hand. There All you right. go, Justin. What do you think that these things are? I think that these things. Uh, and I'm just trying to describe for the audience, sure. But a because they're immediately going to know what a all... pocket pussy for Brony looks like. Yeah, uh, uh, of course. I think that those are things that go over straws, like maybe they're little straw caddies. Oh shit! I know exactly what got... they are. Can I? Can I amend my? No, decision? no. I want to amend my. No, decision. whatever Brian I says, I, it's my I turn. It's my, my turn. Hold whatever on. Brian says is for me. Hold on. <laughs> Justin has to finish answering first, and then we'll I see know exactly how... what they're. Okay, Justin, yeah, you man, gotta get I'll your ass. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what. 
Got to get you guys in first. It's good seeing everybody over the weekend. <laughs> God damn it. Do the game. Play the game. It's just good seeing. What do you, I don't know, but what do you, I mean, like. What are they? Do you have anything on your, on your, on your, on your mind? What brain? are they? Like, <laughs> what? Stop yelling like Christopher Lloyd at the end of Roger Rabbit. <laughs> His voice sounded just <laughs> like I mean, what do you think it is? God damn it. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'll give this to him. This is my gift to you. Okay. Uh, these are chopstick trainers for kids. I think these are chopstick trainers for kids. Okay. You're welcome. Oh, I see. Uh, so, you, uh, oh, I see. When you when you gave it to him, you were not making that your answer. No, I, I gave he it He locked to him. it in. Yeah. He yeah. Said, lock it. He, he, he locked said it lock it in Daniel. Uh, so, that's right. Sorry. I yeah. forgot. I unlocked it because we have <laughs> a procedure. Lock, don't unlock defied, it, Daniel. Defied my very clear directive to Daniel <laughs> by unlocking lock it. it. That's fine. I don't see Daniel on my name tag. All right. Uh, Brian said pencil holder. What hold it is, it, though? That you hold in your hand while you hold it in your hand. And Justin said chopstick helper for kids. One of you is exactly correct. Oh my god, I wonder which one yeah, of us I it which is. One. Ryan, your answer is. Bam. Correct! <laughs> These are three pencils, handle, color, random, right hand helps children learn holding pen and writing. I did not oh. see that coming! Wow. It wow. is, in fact. You fucked me. That's uh, a deep game. I mean, you I mean, sold me bum fucking good. I mean, I, 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 you uh, said that was uh, your uh, gift to me. I, I you mean, gifted me shit. It's you, story. You, I opened. I was my birthday. I opened up my package. I saw your shit. I smelled your shit. I mean, it's like once once I won the gold medal. I'm a shit. I have shit now on my in my box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From you. Yeah. I'm great. <laughs> The uh, I'm gonna write that in pencil. <laughs> <laughs> the extra bit is for you to put your finger in. Uh, wait, what? Oh, to to line up. So it so it, it is kind of like a chopstick trainer, only for pencils. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, they say that uh, quote. It is of great help to train children to hold pen correctly. The pen holder <laughs> is made of non-toxic, odorless, environmental friendly soft silicone, which can effectively reduce the pain of mm -hmm. children holding the pen hard. Oh, the pain! The pain of children holding pen hard. Firm and not deformed. So, uh, there you go. I love to be told that my items will not be deformed. All right. <laughs> Brett, Brett, what is the score? The score, the score, gentlemen, is Justin has one. Brian evilly has two. Wait, uh, 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 objection, <laughs> your honor. Evilly, evilly. Like, like my the time, remember, remember the time that you gave me that gift? <laughs> Evilly, yeah. evilly, <laughs> All right. menacingly. My, yep. my you were like a Disney villain. Like, yep. me here's your gift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I'd be doing shit. I'd be all like, uh, hey man, you know what today is? And you're like, what? What it is. <laughs> <laughs> I would not watch a movie with either of these characters in it. If anybody from the these Disney are great characters and they should be animated. <laughs> the evil gift it'll giver. Be, it'll evil be Pixar. gift giver. Will... Somebody animate evil gift giver by next week. Okay. Oh, all, all right. right. What do we got? Next round. Uh, we're going to start with Justin on this one. I've got a picture here for you. What is it? Can you describe it for me just a little bit, Justin? Uh, so it is a long uh, uh, wooden dowel. And at the top, there is a little uh, a decorative element where it looks like kind of the... Uh, uh, like like a bullet, but the tip of the bullet is is carved out. So mm -hmm. it it has uh, like it looks like the top of a of a, a stairwell, uh, uh, kind of thing. All and right. I think that this is a flagpole. Justin's gonna say that this is a flagpole. Okay. Uh, am I wrong, or does the tip exactly match like a quarter inch jack for an audio device? It does look like that. Yeah. Uh, so I would say an antenna or a, a, a sound plug thing. I guess I'll say an antenna. I think it's an antenna. <laughs> so you just plug that into a board. Yeah. And you get what? You, you get down. Yeah. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just cosmic <laughs> what it is radio. <laughs> just We're from the planet Brian's imagination. 
uh, 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 we are scared to go any further than what it is. <laughs> So, uh, because we're afraid of any connotations of music that we play <laughs> on racial lines, here is a speech by Carl Sagan. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, the Voyager spacecraft. <laughs> and there, on this pale blue dot, is every leader who ever lived or died, every family you've ever known, every artist. Patreon.com <laughs> slash what it is is where you need to go to keep this loud, live, and independent. Plug in our, <laughs> plug in our random ass antenna and you get it for free, but wouldn't you? Wouldn't it suck if you had a random antenna for nothing? Now back to the sags. I don't like this copycat of cord killers. <laughs> apparently doing. All right. Justin has guessed a flagpole. Brian has guessed an antenna. What we were looking for is from Reddit. This tool used for grabbing an input jack that has fallen into a guitar. That's a Brian point. Oh, uh, really? Oh. Throw yeah. it into science. Oh, sure. I can put it in science. There's a lot that's flag S. <laughs> People use flags to retrieve things. Beep, beep. Beep. Yep. Beep, beep, I feel like this is going to come out in my favor. Yeah? Yeah. Ding, 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 what? Ding, ding, ding. what a coup. It would be. We all go, who this man? We Or, yeah. Or what? January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ew. Brutally. I think you made the science machine very uncomfortable <laughs> just now. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid you I? may have damaged Ew. this mid, no, mid-processing. Fuck. You should probably run it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Smash I, I, I just no, I, I just heard I heard some weird sounds. Are you, are, you ask, again. are you asking you for a recount? You should run the science again. Stop the steal, are, are Bryce. You, Stop the steal. <laughs> All right, then spat this out with incredible intensity. Yeah, that's a Brian pull up. Hey! Oh. Right. Rigged. <laughs> so if I'm Mister Nine Eleven, you're Mister One Six. I'm, huh? I'm just saying. Is um, Mister Big Lie is the Big Lie. All right. Uh, let's go I've do been our... reading a lot of that man's listserv, by the way. I, like, There's no other way to keep track of that except for reading his fucking unhinged listserv. <laughs> Wait, who? Uh, Nobody knows. Uh, That's the matter. weird part. Some yeah. random guy. Doesn't matter. All right. Da, ba, ba. <laughs> Should we play his intro for yeah, Kid actually, Rock? Let's give you a hint. Uh, we won't say who the guy is, but we will mention that he appeared to introduce Kid Rock oh. via recorded video. So buckle up for... I have no idea where I even got this. It's Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Donald Trump oh. introduced Kid Rock, and at the end he says, uh, Make America rock again. And then he, puts he also, on a he also hat. takes the opportunity to shit on Kid Rock's uh, 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 golf game. Yes. In mid- midway. <laughs> Which, although for white men, that's the highest form of compliment. Is it? Yeah. Is to, to ragging on, on the game. golf game. Yeah. Bro, your golf game sucks. Hey, your golf game sucks. Oh. Only one way to find out. We got to go golfing. Oh. Oh. Next one, Bryce. All your right. golf game sucks. See, that was unironically intimate. I, I like golf. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, there we go. Uh, Brian, you're going to start with this one. What is this handheld device? Ooh, this bad boy. Ooh, people don't like it. They... Can you describe the shape of it. <clears throat> it's, it's a spatula. But with a with a little tip of two at the end and real skinny, like like the like the uh, uh, the Andrew Heaton of spatulas. <laughs> okay. Um, I think this is. I, I don't know why it's over what looks like a flagpole holder, but I don't think that is. Um, I I I believe this is for taking soil samples. This is a soil taking oh, spatula. Oh, yeah. Soil sample spatula. Mm. I love the alliteration on that. No, yeah. the consonants on that. Mm-hmm. Assonance. Nope. You had it right. It was uh, uh, the first one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the first one, Bryce. <laughs> Justin. Run it back to the first one, though. It's everybody, let's go back five seconds. Yep. It's the first one I said. Adam. Uh, don't at the me. The first one. <laughs> don't at me, Justin. What's the handheld device in this picture? Uh, oh, that little guy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. Upskirt mirror. <laughs> <laughs> An upskirt mirror? Yeah. I mean, uh... You know, like they used to have, like, back in those old movies and shit? Yeah. People were fucking weird back in the day, dude. They were now, Hold on. How far back? You mean uh, the aughts or... Uh... No! 
There nope. weren't any like videos of people or, like 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 wacky things in like the aughts where people were had like the upskirt mirrors. It was always you're, like you're the telling 80s. me upskirt videos were not a thing in the aughts. No, not upskirt videos. A mirror on a stick. Fucking yeah, a mirror on a stick. Okay, that but, was like that was like fifty shtick. Yeah, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I believe uh, <laughs> they were banned or they, there was like a law in Utah about having mirrors on your on your shoes. Really? Yeah, I, I believe so. Can, we, can somebody look that up? Mm. I want to know whether or not that's a real thing. Yeah, let's get to the bottom of this. We're investigators. What it is. What it is is recorded in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> the findings of what it is are not legally binding because Although, they're just Googling things on the internet. Artistic liberties were taken, and the names do not match those of the actual suspects in what it is. What it is is not a show. It's just a preamble for a show where people do a low talking voice, and then the bit just kind of ends. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> We'd like to thank the sponsors of what it is. Brian and Justin, who could do this shit all fucking day, or Bryce could tell us whether or not that was a law. <laughs> and Aunt Marie's ham hocks. Uh, if you want, if you want a ham hock, go to Aunt Marie. I love pigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hello, we're live on the scene with Anne Marie. Uh, I understand you love pigs. I fucking love them. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, some of our listeners would like to know why you slaughter them and sell them for profit. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's one mystery solved. Back to you, Ed. That's the end of the bit. <laughs> that's the end. Of Told the you bit. it was just gonna kind of end. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. This. Uh, it's. I. I don't know. It doesn't gonna, matter. Okay, it's, not, it's not around anymore. All right. Uh. So your guesses. I'm just so you wait, did so Utah up. was the horniest state all along. It still is. I, I knew it. <laughs> wait. We, we've we've talked about Mormon porn before, right? Uh, bubbles. Bubbling. Yep. Yep. Wait. Uh, what? Uh, what? Mormon porn is where yeah. they take. Uh, they take. Uh, uh, if if you do Google image search, you got to be careful on this one. You type in Mormon porn. Uh, what you'll see is um, uh, women in bikinis where they have a bunch of bubbles, and the bubbles happen to cover up the parts where the bikinis are. So you are left with the impression of a naked person, but not actually seeing a naked person. Uh, I, b I believe it's not a violation of terms of service for us to. Gaze upon some examples. So it just looks wow, wow, right? And this is wait, is this euphemistically named Mormon porn, or is it for real Mormon porn? You tell me what you think. What it is? I think it's yeah, bubble porn is the name of it. Uh, if you wanted to Google more information about it, all right. So anyway, uh, it's a. So I got to go back on it's TMS a and ask some questions. <laughs> <laughs> you probably know the answers to them. Uh, 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 okay, uh, so Brian has said a soil sample spatula. Yeah. And Justin has spatula. spatula, and Justin said it was an upskirt mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like in the 50s, though. Put in parentheticals like, like in the in 50s. The 50s. Uh, yeah. In the 50s. Other parentheticals after that, <laughs> movies and stuff. <laughs> movies and uh, stuff. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right. What we were looking for was. <laughs> Tool to clean out baseball base posts. Uh, Ooh. The picture includes, you You didn't notice that there was a device in there. The picture in, is an upside down baseball base with a square pole. The pole yeah. slots into the oh, ground shit. to keep that, the base from sliding. Is, yeah. I did not know That's that. That's what you need to have to literally steal second. All right. <laughs> Science? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let me put this in the science machine here really quick. I feel like you have a pretty good chance. I mean, my answer involved soil and using the spatula, but yours yeah. involved looking up skirts. So in the fifties, like the in movies <laughs> and shit, baseball was popular in the fifties. Yeah, they fucking loved it then. Yeah, they were always like, looking up. Say each it other's ain't so, skirts. Joe. And he's like, <laughs> stop looking at my panties. <laughs> All right, that was Shoeless Joe, Shoeless Joe Jackson. Originally famous, famous retort to say it ain't so, Joe. Stop looking at my panties, boy. Hold on. Would that be a great like presidential concession speech? Nixon, I'm out. Stop looking at my panties. Science. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> science. That's oh, that's right. We were doing science. <laughs> uh, Brian gets the point on that one. Hey! So Brian, oh, very good job. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next one here. What is it? 
Uh, you may have to take a look Justin's at it. There's some small details here. Yes, this is Justin's first. All right, so there's something that's obviously screwed into a wall. How, how, or now you say obviously. Desk. What was your clue? Because there's screws <laughs> into this thing. Uh, I'll allow it. Uh, and there, what seems to be some kind of pendulous device that is spanning a spectrum of measurement. So yeah. it goes from 20 to 100 on the top side. Uh, or sorry, uh, 20 to negative 100 on, the, on one side, and then one to six on the other side, uh, 50 feet to 100 feet. I believe that this is a altitude prohibitor. <laughs> prohibitor. Yeah. It prevents you from getting altitude. Well, yeah. Or losing altitude? Well, it, like, like, or attitude? It prevents, well, a lot <laughs> with the way you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, but uh, no, no, no. Ah, shit, man. I, I don't, I, I think that this is, oh, this is some sort of cartography device, I believe. This is, this is for cartography. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Justin's going to say cartography device. Brian. Uh, well, you'll notice that these are inches and either millimeters or centimeters, and it stops at six and a half, which, as we all know, is the biggest any penis can be. So I'm going to say it's a dick measurer. <laughs> I see. A dick, a yep. dick measurer. Yep. It goes from zero to max. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> the max is six. The max. The max. No one's ever <laughs> seen max more. Max. Brett, does that track for you? Anything else? Um, Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is CGI. Don't believe what you see on TV. We also call it the truthometer. Yep. <laughs> I was in marching band. So. Oh, okay. So well, yeah. then, uh, we know what to What the that. fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, see, Justin was in marching band. So yeah. yeah. Wait, was I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you did. Why would you see a lot of dicks in marching band? <laughs> I don't think that's yeah, what man. anybody was arguing here Let's at all. Let's unpack this. What it is. <laughs> I wasn't in the locker room. I don't know. I don't know what I, happens I in marching saying, band. I wasn't in the locker room Is that, room just, is that just like a thing that happens? Like, hey, nice oh, oboe. Hey, no. nice nice trumpet. Lou, he's, what is, he's, you want to compare dicks? He's saying dicks? the reverse. He's saying that he was not a jock. He was in band, so he didn't get the chance to peek at oh, peepers. Oh, you see yeah. dicks. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You didn't see dick. Yeah. Did not. So you don't know how large. You don't know the, how large the human dicks maximum. Are. Well, right. let me assure you, sir, that six and a half is the highest number. Oh, <laughs> oh, is it six and a yeah. half now? I mean, on yeah. on a warm day. I mean, besides <laughs> personal experience, I mean, no, not what I've seen. But okay, that makes it. we're talking average, right? Yeah. I swear to Do God. Do we want to go I'm around right, the room or like no, you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone right. want to disagree? Six and a half is the highest number. It's it's <laughs> finally happening. All right, Justin said it was a cartography device to yeah, do cartog cartography. cartography. And yeah. Brian said it was a penis measuring device. <laughs> well, when you say it that way, it sounds weird. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's a dick measuring device. There we go. That's right. Yeah, 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 that... yeah. For dicks. <laughs> it measures dicks, Bryce. Ready. Science, take us away. All right. Let's find out what it is. It is from Reddit. A tree height measurement Oh, so you're tool. saying it's to measure your wood? <laughs> Cartography <laughs> style. <laughs> that is, in fact, what I'm saying. Yeah. It is how you measure your wood. Brian gets a point on that. Hey! What? Aw, oh, damn it. Aw, oh, damn it. What's right, what, going to happen? What do we got? Uh, so apparently, yeah, you. Yeah, it's like a sundial. Or hey, uh, Brett, what, what's the score? Well, um... Is it six and a half? I'm a little nothing? worried. Yeah, because I, you know, you may get to six and a half, and where can we go from there? I mean, that's no the higher. Question. That's the you highest number. The highest number, highest number there number. is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you're getting this there. This is how you start a cult. Because <laughs> <laughs> it starts with just one. Shh. Never mind. And everyone else needs to shut up too. Are there a lot of cults that are base six and a half. Yes, base six and a half. Okay. That's right. That's and uh, right Justin, you have one. Ooh. But one is very strong. You want to know what? Like the only one. That's right. JC. <laughs> JC. Yeah. John Connolly. Is that John no? Connolly? Yes. John, John Connor, who, yeah. John who, who Connor. gave his yes. life time traveling to impregnate Sarah Connor. That's right. 
Nope. His mom. Nope. That was Wrong the song. Other way. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's been somebody somebody's been Googling Rule 34. <laughs> mom. Terminate me if I want to live. <laughs> Does any of that make sense? No. I don't nope. think so. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> All right. It is our final Come round. Come in your mom if you want to live. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you Good mom, you want you. to be we born. Got we got there. We found sure. it. We got there. Okay. All right, All right. This is our final round. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> How many points is this for? Uh, ten points. Well, that's just nonsense. It'll get up to six and a half. <laughs> okay, either good. way. Oh, right. Sorry, it's six and it's six and a half. Points. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go, Justin. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you're gonna guess first. What is it? Uh, describe it for us, sir. So it looks like a uh, a soft plastic mold that has three. Uh, no, sorry, one, two, three, four different uh, compartments to it. They are uh, splitting out in in a trident form. It's it's in the middle, uh, in the shape of a shield. So picture picture a, a classic like you know a flat on top comes down to a point at the bottom of a shield, but but it's got depth, uh, and it looks like the the uh, length is. 13 centimeters, the width is 9 centimeters, and the depth is 4 centimeters. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a urinal. You're going to say a urinal. Yeah, I believe it's a urinal. Bryce, it's where you pee. <laughs> I knew it. It's where you pee. Uh, please, don't piss piss out. please don't piss plain. And, and you are, <laughs> it's no longer than six and a half inches. Yep. Mm-hmm. Soft mm-hmm. or oh. hard. Both, but uh, you are peeing right onto that thing, uh, right in it, man. Peeing, Brian. I... Dustin has said a urinal. Brian. Hey, by the way, number one, <laughs> <laughs> um, John Connor. Also, John. Connor. John Connor. <laughs> uh, Brian is grasping at like I... a ghost's ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, He's I, well, I, 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 Cut to the spirit realm. John Quincy Adams. <laughs> Ow. 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 So Ow. Ow. So Ow. Does anyone else feel that? Ow. <laughs> I like that he watches uh, our show, though. That podcast again. Ow. <laughs> Fuck. Ow. Uh, my, my, I'm, I'm trying to reconcile and figure out if, it's, uh, if my guess is offensive now that I see the measurements, but I originally thought it was one of those um, uh, uh, menstruation cups. Uh, but then I thought oh. nine centimeters by thirteen centimeters. That really centimeters. sounds like a grand finale for uh, a great uh, night game. And, and, and play, uh, a menstruation what? cup. I, I'm gonna go for menstruation cup for yes. That's it. Are you it. gonna lock it in? What it is? <laughs> there we go. All right. So Justin has said a urinal. Yep. And Brian has said a menstruation cup. Yep. Yeah, this is an episode that's not going on my CV. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is also from AliExpress. We were looking at. Oh, I went. To, I went. To, I clicked too many times. Here we go. We're looking at four channels: paint pouring, split cup, acrylic pour, cup art pour, supplies, silicone dispensing. Oh cup. my wow. goodness! It what is... will science think of this? Uh, I'd hate wow. to be science right about now. I mean, having science's opinion publicly recorded on the live stream of which it's closer to. Oh yeah. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> Beep boop. (laughs) Science science is being a little huffy. Uh, Wow, science is a little slow today, huh? Oh, yeah. Beep boop. Traffic and weather together on the science. (laughs) Beep beep boop. (laughs) Science is wondering if he can beep boop for another 20 minutes. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Should we go back to the other improvs? or? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> All right. Uh, the science has given this one to Justin. Justin. Hey! Hey! So, Brian, Brian, you have five points. Justin has six and a half. Oh, oh, Congratulations, motherfucker. And I'm so glad there's no punishments. That's right. uh, <laughs> uh, thank you uh, for listening to the show. Uh, if you have an idea for a game that we could play here, send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. It's in the show notes as well. If you've got an idea for a game, a question, a high thought, any sort of good thing, send it in greatnightpod at gmail.com. Thank yeah, you. No, yeah, yeah. And, and, and by the way, uh, uh, everybody who listens to the show that listens every week, 
send just a, a little thing via email because we're, we're trying to get the email thing going again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to do a mailbag episode. Yeah. Um, uh, also, is it just me or, or, or like urine wouldn't make a very good paint? It seems like some other substance would make a better paint. I mean, unless somebody punched you in the kidneys. Uh, what? Yeah, but then what would the substance be that would be? Don't know. Moving uh, on. Nobody knows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we got a, a successful Founders Day picnic. Yep. What's next? Where do we want to go? Uh, and and this is not an invitation to get silly or or do an improv bit. Like no, this no, no, is, no, no, this no. is Actually, art, no. And this art. is by the way, you 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 are you're jumping the gun. This is supposed to be me interviewing you because you're the actual fucking guy who decides what happens next with Founders yes, Day. This is an interview quiz. Uh, <laughs> I will tell you if you're right or wrong. Hold on, wait. Can I? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start it. This is okay, a, this is ahead. the intro. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Founders. <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> what do they want from us? <laughs> Why do they demand their own day? The man I'm going to be speaking with has organized a lot of these words into <laughs> one thing. It happened a few days ago, and he's threatening to have it happen again. <laughs> threatening. I'm joined by Brian Brushwood. Brian. Uh, yes. <laughs> Please, live studio audience. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, hello, I'm Brian. Yes. What's uh, your name? Artemis. <laughs> Artemis. <laughs> yes. Or, did you say artifice or Artemis? Artemis. Artemis. Uh, <clears throat> you're on my show. Yes. I just did a whole big fancy yes. intro. Artemis. Uh, you're great. This you're, is how you, that's really bright. You're a great man <laughs> for doing what you did. <laughs> what it is. What it is. <laughs> Uh, uh, with one Founders Day in the bank, <laughs> what are you casting out for next year? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, number one, um, not being triple booked at our live event facility. <laughs> uh, uh, Cor Corey, do you want to chime in on this at all? Oh, Corey. On the mic. He's coming oh, up to the stage. For you, Corey. Yes. That would be fantastic if we were not triple booked <laughs> at our event. <laughs> That's it. No That's triple bookings. Okay. okay. Well, that seems very in the weeds. <laughs> and nobody has any concept of no, why that mattered. Uh, uh, but but let me ask this question. Yes. Uh, if best. somebody were to think about coming out for next year's, we do know that it's going to be on the same date? Uh, or close to it. It would be the uh, day by before. By the way, I, I found out recently that I've been quoting the wrong day of the eclipse for like two years now. <laughs> but then again, I had COVID twice, so fuck you. Yeah, we found out on our, <laughs> when, on our staff when meeting. When is the date? <laughs> How do you just tell me this I don't do this. <laughs> tell me the date. <laughs> I, I found out it's April 8th, and I've been quoting April 9th for a long time. For a while now. <laughs> for a long time. That would be awkward. <laughs> yeah. If everybody showed up after the eclipse. <laughs> They were driving in from Alaska, I and it happened weird. while they were in I would be, I, Oklahoma. I would, I would tell them, uh, "Look, listen, this is a weird eclipse. It only happens when your eyes are closed. So look up towards the sun. Keep your eyes closed. Oh, it's happening! Don't yeah. open your eyes." And then you punch him in the kidneys and say, "Paint, bitch." <laughs> It was very awkward in the staff meeting when we realized the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. So, so there is. Uh, uh, do we know the the, the day for the for, for next year? Uh, eight is, eight that is on a weekend. Or Sa eight. Saturday is the eighth, right? So this year the ninth was Saturday. So next year the eighth is Saturday, which is good because the eighth will be the day the eclipse happens, <laughs> which will be the big day two years from now, which will be 2024 April eighth. I think it's on a Tuesday, Monday. Okay, we'll do a very special. They haven't decided pillars. what that day will be yet on sure, 2024. But <laughs> this, but but next year it'll be on a bit. Saturday, so it will be on April 8th. Correct. Yes, April 8th. Book April 8th. So here's the question: Is that's actual news? Because I'm an actual interviewer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Artemis. You You're sure? A My name is Artemis, the interviewer. <laughs> I went to question school. <laughs> <laughs> Where we learned all forms of questions. Uh, uh, real quick, if I could turn the tables a bit, what are some of the other questions you learned? Dark questions. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what? Why? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I, I, I don't want to get into why. I'm more aware. No, I was, I was giving an impression of a dark question. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you uh, have any other question, types of questions you'd like to ask me? Uh, I, I want to know jaunty questions. Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about uh, 
What about ashamed questions? Why? <laughs> what about aroused questions? Why? <laughs> I didn't mean to make me aroused, but sure. Uh, well, then specify. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Question College, not Mind Reader Academy. <laughs> so the big question that we have to figure out is how many more people we can handle. Because we had, what, just shy of 200? How many more time? people can you handle? Sorry, I'm asking the questions here. <laughs> I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for good cop to show up. I'm just, I'm, I'm just asking, how many more people can you handle compared? How many people did you have? 120. One tw and that's not counting staff or friends or other... Or other random talent. local people who just showed up. Uh, well, I mean, I, uh, he was invited. Uh, I don't know. I, I was talking about other people. Oh, yeah, are, uh, are you talking about somebody who might show up in a uh, certain great night? Are you talking about my no. dad? No, 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 no. no. There, yeah, there were a few friends. Like, uh, like nobody oh. illegal. Like, okay. Like, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I was officer, there. I'm no Artemis now. It's Kansas <laughs> Uh Yeah, so if that was 120, I, I think we could what? Dup yep. And then how many? Get on a microphone. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, as a matter of fact, here, you take this, and then I'll pull over. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm now welcome Corey. Uh, 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 he's a guy um, moving on. Uh, <laughs> the, sorry. The current plans, which can change, of course, okay. would be 200 next year. and then 200 what? People. Humans. Humans okay. coming yeah. to the event. Sorry, we have to explain it to the audience. <laughs> you don't know when they're you don't know when they're joining in on their radio dot. Right. Uh, by the way, uh uh 1059 the cat <laughs> traffic and weather together. On the right. on the ten. <laughs> I'm now a co-host and yes. we're interviewing. This you. is your interview. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Ar it's Ar uh, Ar Artemis and Smiles. <laughs> yep. We go way Two, back. 200. Yep. We 200 both humans. We, we, we met at question <laughs> One year school from now. together. <laughs> remember when we pledged? Re I remember. I, I, I remember that we both found that six and a half was the largest number. <laughs> uh, they would give us the answer. They made us ask questions. Sorry. So, so 200 next year. How many do you think we could do on the big day? I have to actually do it dark though. <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 I have to do some calculations of square footage. Yes. If so everybody everybody stands perfectly still. Mm, All of around. them arch their back and look up, opening their mouths to the heavens above. And then you'll shoot Skittles in their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking somewhere between 400, 500, but that's going to be a much larger show, obviously, so we're going to have to have, like, split performances to keep everybody entertained because I, I can't have a a large enough area where only one thing can happen. You know what I mean? As an only one performance, so we'll probably have to have one performance over here, another performance over here. Uh, tr uh, tr true fact, and this is me talking out of school, probably making our job harder, but um, uh, uh, the task that we're hoping for is to book that date before anyone at the VFW realizes what's special about that date. <laughs> like, put cash in their hands and get a signed contract before they figure so, out. So you are, you are uh, uh, for, for folks who came to this show, yes. there were events here at the property. Yep. And then there were events right next door yep. at what, you know, is called a VFW hall is actually an amazing venue, uh, an open air venue. Uh, you are, you are hoping to continue to keep everything in those right two there. places. If, uh, if we can, le yeah. Leading up through the eclipse at yeah. the very least. Why? Why? <laughs> because why? Because it's beautiful. Okay, that's a pretty space? good answer. Uh, uh, Artemis, nobody's ever given an answer to the why. It's they have nobody. And now we're free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna seamlessly transition. <laughs> uh. Not you too. Uh, so, uh, 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 I guess, is there any thoughts on like more entertainment, less entertainment? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, how, how long the event? Because, like, this was a one day event. There are many events that are more than one day. I would not 
put it out of the question to split it into two days yeah. with a pre-event, you know, because it, it, we packed a lot into, you know, with, with the, the picnic part of the day and then the live show part of the day. Uh, it was slam jam. We, we, we learned a lesson about the challenges of performing in direct sunlight to uh, during what uh, what the Spaniards call siesta time. Uh, <laughs> there's a reason everybody gets real tired when it's everyone gets real around. Spanish. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they start they start uh, speaking passionately with passion. Mm -hmm. Drinking. What, that, what does that sound like? Uh, uh, wh uh what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly correct. <laughs> yep. Noted anthropologist Brian Brusho. No notes. <laughs> uh, so, so possibly more than one day. Yes. So, if you were thinking about things, and there are some real planners in 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 our audience, yeah. And you were like, "All right, all I've done is here and see all these amazing pictures and videos of all this awesome shit. I'm definitely doing Founders Day next year. I am I am circling this in my calendar right now. You would probably say what like. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, I would say plan to come in Friday uh, midday so that you could do the unofficial uh, uh, make Rex even more wealthy uh, yeah. event. Um, and then and he's real wealthy. By the way. <laughs> Man, <it's fucking laughs> real, real he wealthy. came in on a hovercraft. And then uh, and then. Uh, hey, wait, I got a quick story. Out of OK, that. go, 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 go. So we are, I was actually talking about food. Yeah. And, and uh, Rex was like, hey, do you get the food situation handled? Why? And yes. Because, and so I was like, hey, yes, I got the food situation handled. I got Via 313, which is awesome pizza, but I don't know if I have enough, you know? And he, and he was like, oh, what are you going to do? And I said, well, I got $5 hot and ready's on the order, right, just in case. And he's like, what's a $5 hot and ready? I've heard about it, but I don't know what it is. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're rich. You never, <laughs> you never, you never had right? to eat $5 yeah. hot and ready. This is a Little Caesars thing, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, well, that's right. See, you're I'm, rich, I'm too. You right oh, now. Yeah. Never had a cheap pizza. <laughs> Sorry, let me pull out my Android phone. I'm just like you. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> what, what is a five dollar hot and ready? Six Four people pizza. Four like people. a half and half. Yeah. yeah. Hey, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's mostly a half and half. <laughs> yeah. It's mostly three, milk three quarters and three pizza. Quarters. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's and, what it but, is? Yeah. It's five dollars, but it's hot. Yeah. It's and ready. it's ready. It's ready. Yeah. Red odd. Uh, a friend of mine uh, <laughs> once actually had as, as her AIM message, hot and ready like a Little Caesars pizza. And I was like, like, are you just like trying to fuck? <laughs> and she was like, no, no. I'm just like, you know, I just thought it was like a fun thing. It's like, no, that sounds really slutty. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, the end of that story. <laughs> I, I give that story six and a half stars. Corey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, I mean, it, 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 if we sound Im emotional and overwhelmed, it's probably because we're emotional and overwhelmed <laughs> by uh, by the event, by everyone who came out uh, yeah. from from so very far. And and fuck me, man. There was this moment where it's just like, God, I missed everyone. I I missed everybody so so much. And seeing all all of Chat Realm in person was was, or sorry, not nearly enough of Chat Realm in person was was such a delight. Uh, it was. Amazing. Like, like, honestly, I can't even emotionally process uh, how much of it I missed and how much I, I realized uh, in, in the moment to get over the idea of like, oh, here's a big event and here are things I need to do. I got to think about performances and I can get I, I, I for the first time in, in several years got back to the idea that we had when we were doing Dragon Con or, or, or we're going to be doing Scoop Fest in a couple of weeks, which is like. No, no, no. The point of these live shows is to have fun with the fans, is, is to have fun with our community, is to have fun with our friends. So, like, uh, uh, just be there. If you're present, if you're having a great time, they're going to have a great time. And, and uh, getting there because you guys came out and supported us was uh, just, just truly amazing. And I do want one more time, uh, can we please, everybody here in the room, get a gigantic round of applause for Corey and Annalisa. <laughs> Who like uh, 
Bri Brian, Brian is Brian is Walt Disney. They're the people that actually built Disney World. So uh, uh, that, that they, everything ran so smoothly. There, there were moments where I guess we can't jinx it now. Now it's finally over. No, yeah, I, 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 I kept coming like as things. I knew not to come to Brian early and just be like. Hey, things look great. <laughs> right. Like I, I knew, I knew it had to get to a certain inflection point where, like, we had already switched to the other venue and everything, yep. and everything, and the sound was good. And I was like, "Hey, we're running out of things that can go wrong." And the thing that Brian <laughs> clung uh, clung to until the very end of the night was like, "I don't know, there could be a fist fight." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get into a fist fight. No, no, no! I, I said I'm glad that it, it doesn't matter. Hey, Brett, what did we learn today? Well, <laughs> we learned that no one had a fist fight. On yeah, Saturday, uh, we learned that uh, Artemis asked a bunch of really weird questions. <laughs> I mean, like academic. he's a pro. It's like, academic. Why? Uh, and now we know that Brian didn't know what a five dollar hot and ready was. I mean, it's a sex move. I get it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, Brian, Justin, Artemis. It's been a great night. Still a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. We love you guys. Why? I want to eat the heart. Oh, it's been a great night, a great night, and I don't want to wait another week for another motherfucking great night. Just to my friend, the pain never ends the moment you walk away. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly feels just the same. How great.